Uh, hello again. Um, this is just a quick update video on the one I did uh, last winter about this heat pump or air conditioning, depending on which way you call it. And say so this is the low mount, low mount one. It's now on blasting away at uh, 23 because, as you know, we're just hitting a cold spell. I just wanted to confirm the model numbers that I'm working with, as people have asked me in previous comments. So that's the outdoor unit's model there, look. Just to confirm that, you can hear it humming away. And if you want to know what that is, it's because the installers failed to put a drain on the outdoor unit. So I have it draining into a tray. The indoor unit does go to a pump, which pumps the um, pumps it from behind the, the wall and uh, off round the building to a uh, to a, a waste pipe. I don't know why they didn't do that for the um, outdoor unit as well, but they didn't, and I've yet to. Because of course in the summer, to be honest, I've only had it on about two or three times this summer. It's not really doesn't really get that hot in this place. <clears throat> so um, what I'm going to show you is a comparison of the summer usage and winter usage. Second, first of all, just let me just show you, because people ask which one is it I've got. So this manual is for a couple of the units, but as, I, as you can see, the outdoor unit I've got um, is the 13. And this is the energy uh, ratings for these units that came with it. And as I was saying before, you can see we've got an S-COP of 6.3 in heating A+. plus. It's all very good. So I just wanted to show you the energy use comparison. I haven't got any energy use for just the heating system. I can only show you how the whole house uses its energy um, over... Oh, I can't reflect on that's no good. Um, so this is British Gas's energy usage. And you can see January this year... Obviously, we have uh, cost more to run the hot water. It needs more heating. There's more lights on. Um, you can't dry on an air dryer so often, so you use more tumble dryer. So, uh, 421 kilowatt hours total usage for the entire property in January. Um, so, if I just flip that forward, you can see February, March, still to uh, 400 odd. And as we start approaching the warmer weather. The entire thing drops down to around the 200 mark, really 200, 250. So it's about half the usage in the summer as the winter. So you can see that with the extra hot water and uh, all the heating on all the time, um, we go to 220 kilowatts per month in the middle of. Well, was that's bit low because we were away for a bit of that time. Come on. Ah, oh, thank you British Gas. <laughs> anyway, we saw that earlier on. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is temperatures. So, um, just wanted to talk about the effectiveness of the heating. It's alright seeing how many um, kilowatt hours you use a month, but for all you know, um, we just simply sit there and freeze. So. I just want to show you, this is the July sort of temperatures in the front room, uh, as it says up there, and we're kicking around 22 and a half on average. I'll just bring that back now through, as you can see in March, it averages 22.1, um, February we're averaging 21.8, as you can see, the, it does dip at night, but we keep it nice and warm, you can see it up every day up and down as we come home, um, even in January. We're averaging 21.1 but say so that's an average I mean really if you want to look at how it works in January um, 8 o'clock in the morning it's actually around 20 degrees because the heating has been off and it's cooled down overnight and then when we're sitting there at home um, as you can see we keep it at around 23 and a half so we do keep the place warm um, for that money. Uh, the bedroom, which doesn't have any heating, it just has, say, a duct. And, of course, we people do like to keep the um, temperature in the bedroom a bit cooler. So let me just let this load for the bedroom. Sorry about the delay. Ding, 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 ding. 
And where are we? We are in September and we're averaging averaging 21 in the bedroom, which is mm, a bit warm, but there you go, it's not September. But if we hop back to the winter months, um, in February you can see it averages 17.3. There are peaks. And to be honest, if you want to sleep well at night, it really needs to be about 17, 18 degrees, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, on the typical day, you can see there that um, it maxes out at about 19 and it dips down to about 18 degrees around midnight to 8 o'clock in the morning on a typical day. So perfect temperature and all of that is maintained um, by the ducts that I say I think I've shown you in the other video just behind here. That duct just leads straight up to the bedroom and this thing here just helps divert air like that into that. Needed that much. I mean, normally we just leave the door open and uh, let the heat just go through. But this unit heats this entire property to the temperatures you I've just shown you there, and with the kilowatt hours that um, <coughs> you can also uh, see that we've used to achieve this. So I hope this has been helpful as an update because it was a bit incomplete last time. But this is where I can show you the total difference in consumption from summer to winter. And uh, yeah, we're using instant electric heaters for all our hot water rather than a tank. We don't have gas, um, so it's electric everything. And um, really, it doesn't cost hardly anything to run the heating at all. Thank you.